Wait, we haven't done this one already? Are you sure? Weird. Before these movies were about secret agents fighting space crime or whatever. Damn, they got a magnet plane? Return to the nuts and bolts of the fast saga. Stealing DVD players. Is that a Panasonic PVM939? Sick. They're going to make like a hundred bucks. The first Fast and Furious movie. The one with all the thes in it. Remember Point Break? Well, some screenwriter did and figured if they changed all the surfboards into Toyotas, no one would notice. Now, the franchise that would one day become the MCU with a GED goes back to its humble roots as an educational series about car parts. That length in the injected pulse? It's your fuel map. It's got a nasty hole. I see a cool air intake and a T4 turbo Dominic. I see an AIC controller, direct port. Granny shifting, not double clutching like you should. Now me and the mad scientist got to rip apart the block and replace the piston rings Direct you fry. nitrous injection, four core intercoolers, ball bearing turbos, and titanium valve springs. Look, buddy, I'm not here to read the manual. Can you make my sign look like an angry robot penis or not? Witness the birth of the movies that have always been about family, even though half the original cast has been disowned. Way to turn down half a meal for the sequel, Jaw. Kuda Shuda Luda. But the keepers were all there from the start, like Brian O'Connor, the most obvious cop ever. Look at this snowman right here, man. So it's a good thing he's a stone cold cutie pie. Because when you're done, I'm putting you on the street where you belong, cutie. He's beautiful. I like his haircut. He's on a dangerous undercover mission to infiltrate Dominic Toretto's sister. At the center of this early Audi's underworld is human gravel mound Vin Diesel. Let's go for a little ride. A star with such unique charms, he's made a side career out of playing barely alive creatures who can only grunt a single word. But here, he's Dom Toretto, the ex-con who runs a cool tank top club for wayward youth. Dom lives his life a quarter mile at a time. Because if he thought ahead any longer, he might wonder, wait, why do I rob trucks at full speed with harpoons? Why don't I just make them pull over first? Or should I drive for a living given what happened to my dad? He clipped his bumper and put him into the wall at 120. I watched my dad burn to death. Or like, I've already stolen $6 million worth of DVD players. Why don't I just retire and play with my street sharks? Hand shark! <laughs> Return to a pre-gentrification Los Angeles, where the only thing going on at Coachella was truck heists. Mile 114 outside Coachella. That gathers every stereotype in the city to race through LA's trademark traffic-free streets and shows off all the candy-colored import cars of a 15-year-old's dreams. Because while a Ferrari is well out of your average kid's reach, this film got every mouth breather to put a new exhaust on their Civic and rear end someone because they were playing Snake on their Nokia. I know I did. So after 20 years, nine movies, and a Universal Studios ride that made Vin Diesel the same size as a helicopter, return to a simpler time when the franchise wasn't trying to outstunt Tom Cruise. The cast could all be in the same room together, and all anyone cared about was finding new and exciting ways to say NOS. Tune the NOS. I need NOS. It's got a NOS fogger system. It's got enough NOS in it to blow himself up. You're lucky that 100 shot of NOS didn't blow the welds on the intake. And he ordered three. T-66 turbos with NOS. NOS! Starring the following car puns, as is tradition. Baby Driver, Gran Toretto, Kia, Hot Rod Riguez, Carlo Santana, Jesse Pinkslip, Johnny Transmission, Ja Rule Presents Tire Festival, and hello, spoilers, Car Wars, Rise of Paul Walker. Have they just not ironed out the details of their Corona deal yet, or what? Are the Fast and Furious movies actually good? I can't even tell anymore. We settle whether the franchise is sick bro or suck show in a new video called Love It or Hate It. Click the thumbnail on the right. The missions change. They always do. Barnaby, put the potato down.